I remember uh, playing this game when I was a kid. I used to own it, and I used to play it, like, every day after I got home from school. Um, no, I don't need a demo reel. Damn it. There we go. So, yeah, this is Earthworm Jim. Groovy! Um, it's a very humorous game, but it's also very hard. Um, not a moment to spare. I'm just getting right into it. I could really use something like this after rage quitting Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Uh, this game can get admittedly annoying in a few obstacles. Like these, these crows, for instance. You have to be mindful of that. Um, as a kid, I could barely make progress. Like, my brother was able to beat it without any problems, but... Cow launched. Um, let's see. The one stage I always had trouble getting across, I'm pretty sure a lot of you probably had this problem too. Um, wh whoever played this game, how many of you remember Two Brace? Going down this little section here, across the chain. Right on that platform, grab that extra life, and extra ammunition. Wait, he turns his head into a lasso? Yeah, no, it turns into a, um... Yeah, it's supposed to be, a uh, some kind of, um... No, like, his head can be so many different things. No, Nick, Tube Race. It's, um... It's the second half of the third stage, and you have to control a submarine through a maze. And it's so claustrophobic. And if, um, the submarine, like... If it takes enough damage, you die. Like, you have to be very careful. And because, um, it's a maze, and the way you control it, you can easily bounce off the walls, and you can, like, take some critical damage. It's very obnoxious. Where did that dog go? Like, I thought he was here for, uh, somewhere. I don't know. Uh, uh, excuse me. Again with the damn crows. Fuck off. All right. This level I never been able to pass. Derek, are you talking about tube race? All right. Yes, that was a good burp. If I had a good enough burp, I would have uh, tried saying Earthworm Jim there. God damn it! Come on, get in between those two tires. No, I'd just be like Earthworm. Oh, oh God, that was not my. Get off of me! Let go! Let go! Let go, fucker! Yeah, if they grab you and they start turning their head, you take damage and they get to fly away and you can't hurt them. It's stupid. I have to go up the stupid treadmill here. That is a weird placement for a treadmill or a conveyor belt. I'm guessing that's there for. Just fucking hit him! Thank you, God. Regardless of making any progress, I still enjoyed playing the game. It's just... Couldn't stand a uh, tube race. I could never beat that one. Of course, as I got older, I was able to make better progress. As for beating the game, um... Not really expecting to. I mean, it would be nice if I were to. Alright, let's bounce on these tires. There we go. I also casted my suggestion for... You know what? Fuck you both. I'm trying to save my ammo as much as possible. There we go. Damn! 20 bits. Thank you for that. Fuck you, stupid dog with rabies. Alright. Another continue. Down, boy. That's right, fuck you. Alright, you're gonna get it. Don't fuck with Earthworm Jim. Are you gonna get it? You got 20 cents. I actually don't know how to work with the bits thing. Like, if I get 20 bits, where do I store it? Like, how do I keep it somewhere? I mean, I received a shit ton of bits, and it kind of concerns me that whenever I receive bits, I feel as though it's like money being wasted because I still don't know how to work with it. Um, I still have yet to understand and work with some features on Twitch. 
like I know the basics of how to stream and such. It's there's other features on Twitch that I've yet to know about. Okay, this guy was a pain in the ass when I was a kid. It's when he starts moving, and you have little time to react, and when you try to make it over, it's already too late. Now, of course, beating this fucker, he's, he goes down with no problem. I'm guessing this all has to, uh, what's this? I think there's something in Streams Labs that can tell you about your bits. Um, you know what? I'll, I might be able to look into that. While I have been experiencing streaming a lot, um, there's still some things I have yet to learn, so... Uh, I might look into that, Nick. Oh. Okay. God damn it. Get that tuba out of here. So much gross eyed humor. I loved it. Damn it! I was in a really bad position right there. There. <sighs> Seeing this makes me wonder where Games Cartoony Charm went downhill. You know what? I can answer that. Because people like edgy, realistic games. That's why. I know, that sounds incredibly blunt of me, but still. My point still stands. Doesn't he just, like, normally puke out fish constantly until you hit him with another box? Ever tried the CD version of this game? No, I haven't. I have never shown much of an interest of the Sega CD. I have played the Genesis version, and I am aware that there is one extra level in the Genesis version. And from what I've been in, uh, from what I looked up, uh, there wasn't enough room for that one extra stage. It was called Intestinal Distress. It was a very gross and kind of dark stage. But, what can you expect from something like Earthworm Jim? While it has gross out humor, it can get dark at times. Yes! Oh, 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 oh! Another one. Whoa, Nelly! Alright. Whoa, Nelly! God, I loved quoting from this game. Alright. Barrier time! Eat that! Whoa, Nelly! Whoa, Nelly! Okay, I gotta stop doing that. I'm acting like a fucking broken record doing that. <laughs> Six more bubbles and I can get a continue. Five, four, three, two, one. Booyah! <laughs> Do a barrel roll! Unfortunately, no. This makes me think of Boogerman. I've heard a lot about Boogerman. I don't need this update thing right now. Um, I played a little bit of it. Didn't really go that far with it. Didn't have that much of an interest, which is kind of ironic. Damn, I have four continues. What the heck? This was the first time I was introduced to uh, what hell is. <laughs> ha! Gotcha, fucker. This is Reap, guys. Damn it! Die! It was right there! Jesus! God, the hit detection can be, like, really screwy. Oh, fuck! I walked into that one. And I should have seen it coming too. Fuck! Alright. There we go. I'm adorable and fluffy. Yeah, fuck you! And. Let's see more of this. I didn't, I was like too young to understand uh, the joke behind this stage, uh, this stage I mean. That first it plays Night on Bald Mountain and then it switches to this happy music while people are suffering. Which is ironically hilarious. Yippee! See, I have to play Zombies at my Universal Success. You know what? That's actually on my to-do list for uh, this October. I want to do um, 
that ha uh, Halloween stream thing again. Um, I'm going to be ni limiting down on what games to stream for that. Like, there's a selective amount, but I want to... Uh, I want to narrow it down so that way I'll be able to edit out some skits in time to uh, make a ha um, highlight reel skit for Halloween. Ooh, that was a close one. All right, let's get over there. Okay, now there was this little trick here that my brother used to have where he could uh, cut through that uh, part of the game and beat it faster. Because otherwise you have to face that fucking snowman guy. All right, let's go all the way up. Fuck you. Fuck you. And he goes to change the record, and it's once again... Oh, fuck! Night on Bald Mountain. Ugh. Would you consider attempting Ghouls and Ghosts? At some point, like, I wanted to, uh... Like, the first thing I want to do is, is... I want to get good at the game, and then, uh, stream it. Um... <gasps> Because the thing is, with Super Ghouls and Ghosts, is that I'm able to get to the final boss, but I can't get... Pa okay, what I mean by final boss, I mean, um... I forgot what his name was. I, I can't think straight right now. I gotta deal with this fucking snowman guy. God damn, he likes to appear where you stand. That's the annoying part. Yep, there he goes. Ow, fuck. And he can't shoot him either. You have to, like, whip him. Oh, he has one more hit. There. I'm too adorable for boops. Well, I boop you, Nightfall. A snowman in hell. Nice. Yeah, I know. The, like, There's some, like, a bit of ironic humor involved. And this fucker. All these spikes falling down from the ceiling. Oh, fuck. I went too slow. Okay. Yeah, like, this was the portion that... That somehow my brother was able to, like, make his way and cut through here just so that he can play through the rest of the stage. I don't remember the thing. Kristen, join the club. A lot of people, um, ironically hate Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Like, it's still technically a good game. It's just, it, within its mechanics, it's really difficult to adjust to. You have really, really stiff controls. And the way the stage is designed, you can only take so many hits. One hit, your armor falls off like tissue paper, and the next, you turn into a skeleton. Well, ah, damn it. I send a flock of bird. A f Wait, I send a flock of a bird to settle on Aeon. Super Zevious. I didn't know there was such thing as a Super Zevious. I do know that uh, the name Zevius, correct me if I'm mistaken, I think that's some kind of a top-down shooter game. Like, it was an arcade game that I remember playing on the computer. There was a compilation that I was able to have called Revenge of Arcade, and it's a series of um, arcade games that you can actually play on your computer. It has uh, Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Zevius, and a few others like, uh, what was it, Mappy, Rally X. And yes, I actually cut through that because trying to get up here is a pain in the dick kind of cheating through the game here. Ow, fuck! Okay. Yeah, it's a top 10 parallax scrolling shooter. Yeah, I remember that. The game was fucking loud and noisy, though. Like, the kind of loud and noisy that just, like, wasn't pleasant. I don't know what sound they used. It was just, ugh. Uh, but I remember Rally X, and um, there was Motos and Mappy. Mappy was a fun one. Like, it, it it was much more cartoonish compared to, like, Pac-Man. When you said Revenge of Arcade, I was thinking of Spider-Man X-Men game. Um, I wouldn't know about that. Um, sure, Birch. After, um, after this episode, I'll take a look at it. Alright, come on, you. Come on, it's not the best you got. Is that the best you got, motherfucker? Huh? 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 You can't touch me. You can't touch me. You're too slow. You're too slow. 
God damn, I'm just like, I'm playing this dude like nothing. Hey, Brash, how you doing? Let's uh, crumble yourself down. Come on. Whoa. Ha. For a second there, I thought I was going to get a hit. God, I'm being so cocky and I'm getting away with it. It's hilarious. Okay, this part is a pain in the ass. Because he's, like, because the character is, like, fucking dark, you can barely see him. God damn it. That was his own advantage from trying to dodge those flaming, uh, those balls of flames rolling by the... God damn it. I spoke too soon. Ha, gotcha. Gotcha. God damn it. Cocky Goldie is new. Yeah. Gotcha. Three more hits and then I'm done with this stage. Gotcha. One more, baby. One more. And... Boom! Oh, fuck. Ah, <laughs> fuck. I wasn't paying attention. That was my fault. Ha! Gotcha. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yippee! Oh, I get it. He's a cat and he has nine lives. Yeah, that's the joke. Go, 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 That was always fun to do. More Andy Asteroids! Fatality. Well, he's now in a quote-unquote better place instead of being in hell, which I can't really say much of. Alright. Barrier! Oh, no, no! Damn it! Now I gotta be really mindful of not hitting the, uh, the asteroids. Shit. Fuck you, Psychro. Piss off. Ha! Jokes on you, asshole. Whoa, shit. Okay. Oh, that was a close one. Okay. Oh, damn it. I'm only halfway up. Come on. If I can get more bubbles, I can get another continue. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Ah, damn it. I missed a shit ton of bubbles right there, and I'm already close to the end of the stage. Nine more. Let me see if I can get nine more. Five, four. Damn it! I was off by four. Oh, well. Hmm. Princess Nightfall. Well, think of it this way, Nightfall. Imagine being the equivalent of Luna. Damn it! I wanted to hit Groovy on top of me saying that. Fuck. Down the tubes. Alright, this is a stage that I can never get past when I was a kid. Like, the first half, I mean, I'm fine with. Oh. Oh. Okay, so no matter what, if I fall all the way down here, it's still going to create that noise. Like, the first half, just down the tubes, I can get through, like, nothing. Like, even as a kid. Yeah, let's go past this big fucker, because if he grabs you... Oh, Jesus. Fuck you! Get out of here. God, these things are obnoxious. And there we go. It's funny that they're reusing the same song from earlier. Later stages, they would, um... Like, they would have, like, different songs. But for some reason, they use the same track here. I'm guessing this has to do with the space. Hmm. Get this stupid thing out of here. There. I don't know what the fuck that is. This weird squid thing. It's weird. It's just a shit ton of holes, and it's... Spitting out something. I'm afraid to ask what the fuck that is. Acid or something? I don't know. No, I want to see if I can, uh... Alright, let's get up there. Oh, come on! Get up there! Fuck. Oh, I know what it is. Oh, oh, oh. Damn it! I need that thing! I need more health. There you go, Nightfall. Try to think a little more... Positively. This comes from somebody who can be a real cynic. There we go. Alright, time to round the hamster. 
Okay, these orange guys are also a pain in the ass. Like, you can't kill them, and if you touch them, they grab you and they start body slamming you back and forth, and you take, like, 25% damage. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Damn it, I hit that. This is the submarine shit that I was talking about. Fucking A, is it hard to control. And you have to go through this, like, long maze in two brace. It's a giant ham ham. Yeah. Ah, da, 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 da. God, I'm hearing that a lot. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to go up the other way. Whoa, Jesus. Oh, Brad, thank you for the $10 donation. No, oh, you had no quote in there, huh? If you had a sip condom intro, what would it be? Everywhere you look, da 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 da. Yes, I know I'm gonna get shit for that. <laughs> so this is what Amtaro looks like in the game. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. All hail the princess of the night. Looks like Nightfall is gonna be cosplaying as Luna this Halloween. That'd be adorable. Whoa. All right, cool. Whoa, Jesus. Okay, easy, Brett. Easy. I don't know why, I just do. It's probably because the sound effects in the game are hilarious. Whoa, oh my god. Whatever you do, just don't, okay, don't hit the walls. Because well, you guys can already like piece together what happens if you take too much damage here. Fuck! That's what I'm talking about. You'll start bouncing around and you'll start taking heavy amount of damage. And you need this, uh, this fucking submarine just to stay alive. Otherwise you're fucked. Oh, God. Okay, down. Okay, I got 10 seconds left. I gotta move my fucking ass. Down we go. All right. Oh, no! Ugh. Fucker. Yeah, you can't do anything with these assholes unless you have that hamster. And it seems like no matter what, you have to, like, you have to take damage from him. It's a fucking cock tease. I mentioned that Golden should get a soundboard like Silverquill does. Oh, yes! How many of you watch Reviewer's Web? Oh, man. Uh, what do you think is EA's dumbest move? Battlefront 2. I don't think I need to say much else. All right, so here it is. Two brace. What is arguably, like, the toughest stage. I'm only, like, 23 minutes in, and I'm, like, almost halfway through the game. Fuck you. Don't touch that. Oh, God. <sighs> okay. Let's get through this. You missed reviewers, Rob. Well, Nightfall, there's another one coming next Saturday, I think. Not this coming Saturday because there's um, CMPC happening. But er at that time, uh, you should be able to uh, participate. All right. I want to check and make sure. Okay. Let's open up this. God damn these spongy squid things. Uh, a better intro for you in the chat. I better intro you? What? Garfield's unholy mini spawns? I don't know. Okay, I'm waiting too long. Let's ride the hamster. Payback's a bitch, fuckers. Yeah, try body slamming me now. All right, here's the toughest part of the game. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Okay. You have to be so precise in trying to, like, hook that thing up. All right. So this thing is going to go all the way up to 99. And while that does allow you a lot of time, you have to have a lot of patience going through most of the obstacle anyway. Whoa. Okay. Easy. Come on, Brad, don't hit the fucking walls. Oh, no! Ah! Oh. Okay. So. 
Now, something I should mention is that, um, as a kid, I wasn't able to make much progress here, not just because of how long the, um, how long the, uh, the maze was. Oh, Jesus! Um, it turns out, there's another, um, there's another one of those refuel tanks that is a little further down a ways. It's a little bit on the cryptic side. You, uh, you'll probably miss it if you're not, like, if you don't have a good keen eye. Whoa. Okay. Uh, this way. Can't go too fast. That's the thing, because you don't want to go bouncing off the walls. I think it's around here. No. It's another U, uh... It's another u shape. Fuck! Alright, alright. <laughs> Easy. Whoa. Okay. I gotta be quick. Oh, shit. Okay. I think I'm reached it. Where the lights are? Okay. Alright, going past here. There we go. It's probably gonna go all the way up to, I think, 80. So you have 80, uh, 80 seconds to make it past this point. Yep, 80 seconds. Whew, easy. This part gets a little tricky. Carefully making my way here. Okay, the way it turns, like, you can... I, I think you guys can see it at this point. You have to, uh, you have those little things that you have to spin around with the D-pad. And wherever it points, that's where it's gonna direct whenever you press the B button to, um... Um... Hit the gas button. Okay. Okay. This way, this way... Up to... Oh, there it is! Alright, cool. Made it through tube race. Yeah, no, as a kid, I can never make past that. Fuck! I keep getting too close to those stupid squid things. What the hell is that? Hang on. Oh, oh, it's sucking me up somewhere. Oh, cool! It was like, I didn't notice that before. Awesome. It's like, fuck you, fish. I come all this way just for a fish. I'm guessing that's supposed to be some kind of anticlimactic joke. I don't know. Woo! Alright, here we go. Whoa, Nelly! Alright, let me try to get as many bubbles as possible. He's probably gonna catch up too. Damn it, I missed that one. And I missed that freaking barrier. At least they keep hitting the boosters. I think when you hit the boosters, you're kind of invulnerable to, uh, for a second with those uh, asteroids. I don't know. Who? Oh no! Damn it! Now Psycho's caught up. Not anymore! Later, fucker! Oh, damn it, I missed that one. Yippee! Yeah! <laughs> Come on, let there be at least ten more bubbles left. Nine. Eight, seven, six. Oh, come on! Ugh, whatever. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and call this an episode and quickly transition to the next episode. Because these stages don't wait too long. Con!